Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I know with all this coronavirus and all this stuff going on, there are a lot of people that are really nervous. There are some people that are totally oblivious and others have their heads buried in the sand. Which one of those are you? Because there are things going on and things are progressively getting worse. And after a while, this virus is going to grow exponentially. And that vision I saw of the police and the military going up and down the street announcing that everybody had to stay in their homes, it's happening now. So my question to you is, if they do that on your block, are you going to have enough food to carry you for a month or two? Or are you going to be ringing people's phones trying to get somebody to bring you some food? What are you going to do about it? Now, this is what I have to say. And I'm relating this from a story in the Bible. Because even Jesus, he tells the story. And it's dealing with being wise or being foolish. Now, you can decide which one you're going to be. And there are times when... You may be going to get somebody else to help you out. And if they tell you, no, we went and got ours, we went and prepared. What were you doing when they were warning everybody? Don't get an attitude. Don't get your behind tied up in a knot because somebody doesn't want to be Christian enough to help you out when you had all the time in the world to get ready. Listen to this before you get an attitude when they catch you with your pants down and your refrigerator and cabinets empty. All right, starting at verse 1, this is Matthew 25. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. Hmm. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all the virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there not be enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut afterward, came also the other virgin, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Mm, mm, mm. See, that is dealing with the second coming of Christ. But you can apply that to being ready for anything. And some of you are not going to be ready. You're on Facebook uploading a whole bunch of little comical goodies and, and all kind of stuff about celebrities and, and, and internet gossip and all kind of nonsense. You are turning a deaf ear and a blind eye. Do not cry the blues. If when calamity hits on your street, you have no wherewithal to get what you need to hunker down and take care of yourself when you're not allowed to leave your home. Don't cry the blues because this is the time to get ready. This is the time to load up on food supplies. This is the time to load up on medical supplies. This is the time to load up on toiletries. This is the time to load up on candles, gloves, all kind of disinfectants, all kind of stuff. But my question to you is, what are you doing? You see what's coming. The writing's on the wall. It's obvious. 
but you want to play. Don't pay the piper afterwards because you refuse to pay the price now. Mm. I really hope and pray that you w wake up and wise up because there will come a time that you will be looking around for everybody else to come to your rescue. No, they're trying to take care of themselves and they did what it took. What will you do while you have the time now before the shelves are empty and the streets are on lockdown?